Hi friends, welcome back to my channel and a very special welcome if you're new here. My name is Jen, I'm a certified weight loss and nutrition coach and it is Monday, so it's meal prep day. I'm really excited for this week's meal prep. I have the perfect recipes for optimal fat loss and I'm really excited to share with you a brand new free a calorie tracking app that I've been utilizing for the last couple of weeks and I'm really loving it. So if you're excited, give this video a big thumbs up, subscribe if you're not, turn your bell on because I do a meal prep every Monday and I actually upload five videos every single week. All of today's recipes will be on my recipe website. I will link that at the top of the description box along with my new favorite calorie tracking app, Nutrition Coaching, where I offer personalized to you macros and calories calories. Highly, highly recommend having your personalized macros and calories done so that you can reach your weight loss goals. This is what I have done to lose 140 pounds. And I offer one-on-one -on -one coaching for accountability to ask questions or talk with me directly. Links and discounts to my favorite healthy things are also down in that description box and my Facebook group. Come join us. We'd love to have you. But let's head on into the kitchen for this week's meal prep. Like I mentioned, I've been using a new calorie tracking app and I always like to try out new apps and when they're free, even better. So I went ahead and downloaded the Trainist app a couple of weeks ago and I've really been enjoying it. I find it to be very user friendly, easy to navigate, easy to build recipes, find foods, and I absolutely love it. It's easy to track food accurately because the food that is marked as verified has been verified by the app to be true. A lot of times with calorie tracking apps, random people can enter foods and the nutritional information isn't always right. So I really appreciate that there's a verified option. So we we know that the food that we're tracking is correct. So what I wanted to do today was show you how to build recipes in the Trainist app and how to track your food. So I'm going to show you how I built all three of my recipes in today's meal prep and how I actually tracked my lunch for today so that you can see exactly how easy it is to use the Trainist app. One thing I like about it is that it is free forever and there are no ads. Most nutrition trackers are either paid to get the same features or have annoying ads which pollute the user experience. It's currently in the beta stage. So this is a newer calorie tracking app to the market and there will be a lot of additional features coming out over the course of 2024. You can even reach out to the company directly and offer your feedback for features you would like to see in the app. They have amazing customer service. I've actually had to reach out to them a couple of times. They respond promptly, politely, professionally, and I always get the answers to my questions quickly. Like I said, they're in their beta phase. They're just again, new to the market. They've only about, they're only in it about 10% of their true capacity for the app. And like I said, there's a lot of features coming in 2024 that I'm really excited about. And what you have to remember is this app is free to use. So right now they're in the first phase and that's the nutrition tracker. What I'm going to show you today, how to build recipes, how to track your food. The second phase is going to be check-ins that allow users to keep track of their progress. And the third phase is actually a certified personal trainer marketplace where you'll be able to find verified personal trainers to help you on your fitness journey. They've also created an immersive workout experience to make workouts fun and easy to view on your smartphone. All of these additional features are coming in 2024. I love that there is an option to find a certified personal trainer in your area. I get the ask that question a lot. How do I find a trainer? How do I even begin? And I love that this service is free for you to find the right trainer for you. One other amazing feature about this is if you already use another fitness tracker like my fitness pal, lose it or noom, you can actually import all of your information into the Trainist app. So you can easily transition over from a paid calorie tracking app, one full of ads into Trainist that has no ads and is free to use. I'm really excited about the check-in feature because that's going to allow you to track your weight, body measurements, body composition, and progress photos. That way you have a clear log of your health and wellness journey. Mid-2024, the workouts will come into play. I also think this is genius to include this in a calorie tracking app. Trainist actually has an Instagram, a Facebook group, a YouTube channel, and a TikTok. So I'll link all those down below for you. And again, you can simply download the app in both the Google Play Store and the Android Play Store. I'll actually put the link to the app directly in the description box for you. Don't forget this is a free app to track your calories and I cannot wait to see all of the other features coming out in 2024. For my breakfast this week or part of my breakfast I'm going to be making banana 
protein muffins. I'm going to show you how to log this in the Trainist app. It's very user friendly and it's very accurate. So let's go ahead and make these protein banana muffins. You're going to need some honey, all purpose flour. Peanut butter is optional, but I would recommend it for these muffins. I think it's going to add a nice texture flavor and a healthy fat, a little bit more protein as well. You're also going to need eggs, salt, cinnamon, baking powder, baking soda, vanilla extract, protein powder of your choice. I am going to use Clean Simple Eats Bananas Foster. I was going to use Clean Simple Eats Vanilla, but I think the Bananas Foster is going to be so good in these muffins. It pairs perfectly with the bananas we're adding, and then we'll get that little bit of caramel flavor as well, so I'm really excited about this. You can use any protein powder. I highly, highly recommend Clean Simple Eats. It's my favorite. You already know it's my all-time favorite protein powder. I will link Clean Simple Eats down below with a 10% discount, and then you're going to need three ripe bananas. So the first thing we're going to do is add in the three bananas to a large bowl and then mash them up. We're going to add in three eggs. teaspoon of vanilla extract, and a tablespoon of honey. Now the honey is optional. You're going to get a lot of sweetness in these muffins just from the bananas. We're not adding in any additional sugar. So you can add the honey if you would like. I'm going to add it. Honey is a great sweetener. It has a lot of antioxidants and really good properties. So I am going to go ahead and add in a tablespoon of honey. And then we're just going to mix this until combined. Then we're going to add in one and three quarters cups flour, the entire packet of Clean Simple Eats protein powder, which is one scoop, one teaspoon of baking soda, and half of a teaspoon of baking powder. Using a spatula, fold that in. You definitely do not want to over mix, just mix until combined. And we're adding in a third of a cup of natural peanut butter, the runnier, the better. And then lightly fold that in. You could use almond butter, sun butter, whatever you would like. And here is what our batter looks like. Using a large scoop, we're going to scoop our batter into a muffin tin, either sprayed with nonstick cooking spray or use a muffin liner. And we want 12 total. These smell and look so good. We're going to put these in a 350 degree oven for 15 to 20 minutes. So the banana protein muffins are out of the oven. These smell so good. I smell banana, I smell peanut butter. I'm really, really excited for these. I'm going to allow them to cool and then we'll package them up for the week and I'll be back to share points, calories, and macros. So here are the muffins. They are finishing up cooling. I think I'm just going to toss them in a gallon Ziploc bag and throw them in my bread box for the week. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, and macros on the screen for you. I'm going to pair this with probably some eggs and some fruit for a well-rounded breakfast, perfect for fat loss. chicken meal prep bowl that's going to include rice and a veggie. I'm so excited for this. I've actually been craving Panda Express orange chicken and this is a much healthier option. So let me show you what you'll need. So you're going to need some honey, chicken broth, orange juice. You could probably juice oranges if you'd rather. I just went ahead and bought orange juice, ginger, fresh ginger, ginger paste, even powdered ginger, sesame oil, soy sauce. You'll need some rice. I actually cooked this up the other day. This is just some jasmine rice, garlic powder, sesame seeds, an orange, 
broccoli of your choice. I'm going frozen broccoli. You could do fresh broccoli, steam in the bag broccoli, whatever you would prefer. Salt and pepper, green onions, and then of course about a and then about a pound of chicken breast or chicken tender. So I added one tablespoon of sesame oil to my pan. Allow that to warm up, and then we're going to add in our diced up chicken and allow it to cook completely. So while our chicken is sizzling away, I'm going to make the sauce. So I'm going to do one cup of orange juice. one quarter cup chicken broth, and one quarter cup soy sauce. Tablespoon of ginger, two tablespoons of honey, black pepper, and then I'm going to zest about a half a tablespoon of orange peel. And then we're just going to stir this together until mixed. I removed the cooked chicken from the skillet, put it on a plate and set it aside. And then go ahead and add your sauce to your skillet. And we're going to allow this to simmer on medium low heat for about five to 10 minutes or until it thickens. Just make sure you're stirring it throughout. Once your sauce has reduced down and thickened up, we're going to add back in our chicken, stir, and we're ready to put together the meal prep. But I added a quarter of a cup of cooked jasmine rice, you can use any rice. And then I'm going to do a quarter of the chicken and orange sauce. And I am kind of putting that a little bit on the rice. So when I warm it up, we'll have the chicken and rice together. And then I'm going to add some broccoli and I'm just adding in frozen broccoli. That way when I warm it up, it'll cook it for the first time. So it won't be reheating the broccoli. I'm going to top it with a little bit of green onion, some sesame seeds, and that's going to be my lunch for the week. So I have a good amount of chicken, a quarter of a pound per container, quarter cup of cooked rice, broccoli, really you could use any vegetable, a little bit of green onions, and some sesame seeds. So let me go ahead and put together three more meal prep containers. My orange chicken meal prep is ready to go. I did four bowls, it actually makes four servings, so that's four days of lunch ready to go. This is perfect for a fat loss stage. You've got a carb with the rice, lots of protein with the chicken, a healthy vegetable with some fiber. This is going to be so good this week. I'll go ahead and put points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. For dessert this week, a snack, I'm making blueberry oat bars. I love those raspberry oat bars they sell at the bakery, but this is going to be a healthier version that's going to be perfect for fat loss. So let me show you what you'll need. You're going to need rolled oats, flour, brown sugar alternative. I have the Lakanto Golden, that's my favorite. You know I love Lakanto sweeteners. I do have a 15% off discount code for Lakanto site-wide. I'll link it down below for you, but we'll use the Lakanto Golden. You'll need fresh or frozen blueberries, light butter, cinnamon, baking powder, and some salt. So to get started on our blueberry oatmeal bars, we're going to add three quarters of a cup of flour, two cups of rolled oats, one cup of Lakanto Golden, a pinch of salt, and then half of a teaspoon of baking powder. This is a full teaspoon, so I'm going to do half. And then go ahead and stir that together. We're then going to add three quarters of a cup of cold light butter and then using our hands, let's go ahead and remove our wedding ring. We're going to mix this together until we have a crumbly mixture. Went ahead and sprayed my eight by eight, nine by nine baking dish with nonstick cooking spray. Here is the crumble mixture. Go ahead and add that to the bottom of your baking dish. And then we're just going to press that into place making a crust. And we're going to take our three cups of blueberries, again, fresh or frozen. I mean, you can use any berry. If you saw my grocery haul, I was originally going to do raspberries, but blueberries were on sale, so blueberries it is. So go ahead and pick whatever berry you would like. Now we're going to make the topping. So I have one third cup of Lakanto Golden. We're going to do two tablespoons of all-purpose flour. Two 
two tablespoons of light butter. and cinnamon. Go ahead and just mix that all together. And then we're just going to kind of sprinkle that crumble right on top. And then we're putting this into a 350 degree oven for about 45 to 50 minutes. Look at how amazing these oat bars look. They smell so good. Nice thick crust, lots of juicy berries. You do wanna allow these to sit for about 30 minutes before you cut them into bars, but I will go ahead and put serving size points, calories, macros here on the screen for you. meal prep. I hope you enjoyed seeing all the recipes that I created for the week. I can't wait to have these healthy meals all week. Also, definitely check out the Trainist app. I'm really excited about it being a free app with no ads and all of the features coming in the new year from the Trainist app. I will link it down below for you guys so that you can easily download it whether you have an iPhone or an Android. Also have my recipe website at the top of the description box, nutrition coaching, links and discounts to my favorite things, and come join our Facebook group. We'd love to have you. Happy Monday, friends. Here's to a successful week, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.